So I love terrible movies and I also love sci-fi movies so I thought why not combine the two and watch terrible sci-fi movies. So today I'm going to watch the 1980 film Flash Gordon. I don't know much about it. Um, I know it's one of the more like iconic 80s films or characters I should say. Um, I believe there was also a TV series. I haven't seen it but I think that's where this went or if that was before the movie or after the movie I'm not sure but I don't know the cast. I don't know the plot. Um, I'm expecting some kind of like superhero thing something like that um, but that's all I really that's all my only prediction for this film but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch please comment below and if you're ever curious about what's on the bookshelf I've included a link in the description and if you want to have a say in what TV shows or movies I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content The inhabitants refer to it as the planet Earth. Earth. He says with such disgust. <laughs> ah! Is he gonna blow up Earth? Okay, this evil guy's born and wants a planet to destroy. Is he gonna. Oh, earthquake? Hot hail. Is that a thing? Oh my. Typhoon, meteor storm, tornado, earthquake, volcano eruption. Just the worst of the worst. Hot hail. He has his own theme song. Yes. Is he like a Marvel character or anything? Comment below. Oh yeah, I'm seeing comic books. Okay, I'm guessing he's originated whether it's Marvel or DC. I'm not too sure. All these just buttons that cause natural disasters. Oh my goodness, this guy. That theme song was fun though. Very 80s. Emperor Ming? Max von Snowden, that name sounds familiar as well. It kind of sounds like Queen. Comment below, who did the theme song? This is a great intro, I'm very excited. Prince Voltan, okay. Colitis? That sounds like a disease of some kind. Ugh. I've got colitis. Isn't that colitis? Isn't that a thing? He'll save every one of us, that's good, good to know. Oh, okay, good, yeah, it is music performed by Queen. Excellent, I was right, okay, good. That's fun, I'm excited, guys! This is gonna be awesome! Based off the characters, oh shoot, it went by too fast. Dark Harbor Inn, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Oh my, he is a babe. So it's gonna be very theatrical, very over the top, very 80s. Yes. Yes! Probably some spandex at some point. <laughs> He's an athlete or something. They said he had a great season. I don't know anything about the backstory of the character. Bit of clear air turbulence, nothing serious. <laughs> nothing you'd want to toss a third down pass through either. Sports. Okay, so he's a football player. Would you do us a favor and leave him alone? They're busy driving the bus. Now that I mention, now that I think about it, there was comic book images that had him with football helmets and stuff. Okay, so he's a football player. I know. It's on your shirt, bud. Look, we all know. Um, uh, why is this guy turning red? Whoa, what is this? It's an attack. He loves the point and talk. Is he Nick Cage? I'm not going up in that rocket looks so homemade. Yeah, I would not go in that thing either, bud. What? This took a turn. Why is he pointing a gun at him now? What's going on? Why are you running away? You have a gun pointed at him, bro. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Terrific. Come on. Let's get out of here before she blows. I don't recognize the actor who's playing Flash. Was he known mostly for this role? Comment below and let me know. Sorry, Monson. Missed your opportunity. Where's the telephone? Oh shoot, he just oh he just got them in the ship and lied. One person to keep the foot on that red pedal during blast off. Very official, yeah, the red pedal for blast off, okay. So that's exactly what NASA uses. Oh, bonked him. Bonked him right into the button. Button bonks. 
Okay, so now they're on their way to the moon with this crazy scientist and a tin cup, basically. Yes! It looks like a badminton birdie. They're going towards this black hole? What? Pew! Whoa! Space sounds. Whoa, those are cool glasses. Okay, so they wanted to go to the moon and they ended up on whatever this planet is. Or is this what's left of the moon? I don't know. Hello. We are from Earth. Good, good. It's, it's best to yell that. Ah! Whoa! What? Oh, they could laser their own hands? What? It was like a go-go gadget arm, but with a laser? Whoa. Whoever they are, it's clear they're highly developed. I'm sure we can reason with them. You want to bet on it? Wouldn't somebody be looking for Flash? Like he was supposed to be going home or he was leaving vacation and... I love the set design, I love the wardrobe, like it's so cool that yeah this like glowy or this gold floating orb thing hopefully it doesn't end up like being the one from Phantasm? What is this lizard thing? Ah! Oh! Oh what these are like angels? It's like Spartan angels or something? Angels of Troy? It's this Emperor Ming I'm guessing? So all these like different tribes are all different people that live in this galaxy. Okay. He's like, well, you had nothing to offer me but your loyalty, so let's test it. Oh, this guy's twisted. To all the kingdoms of Mongo, dead to me. Oh! They zapped him. Oh, he tried to kill the emperor. Oh, right in the gut. Ugh. Yeah, he tried to assassinate the emperor, and it's blue. Their insides are blue. And this robot thing just records it. I love it. This thing is so weird. This like little floating drone thing. Oh my! Space babes. No. Whoa! The rings like hypnotize her. Prepare her for our pleasure. Oh god, that sounds horrible. Flash! <gasps> Stay back! Is this a musical? Oh, he just plays his theme song every time he fights people. So does he have like actual powers or is he just like a regular guy who fights evil? Ah! Oh, right in the bits. Oh, bonked him with an egg. What do these eggs do? Oh, these mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He's like, I'll just use my football tackling skills. The is to be executed at 2915 Park. Oh dear, okay, they're gonna execute him? The guy who plays this uh, Prince looks familiar as well, but I can't place him right now. I demand to see the governor! Oh, that looks like something out of Silent Hill. Oh god. What is that? Oh god, what are these? Yes, you don't look well. Little dinosaurs? Bring in the Emperor's concubine. Oh my. Oh my god! Damn you! I said I want to see her! Ah! Whoa, he just lasered off the helmet. You have until the sands run up. These are the days of our lives, like sand in the hourglass. Pathetic. Those are some interesting things, like, like black plague masks almost. Exactly what I was going to tell you. What? This isn't happening, Dale. We're not here. What? It's just a bad dream. Is it? Oh, I agree completely. These things, what the heck are these things? It won't turn over. Okay, so Dale stuck as their concubine and they're gonna execute Flash. They're like, you know, it's an appropriate execution outfit, uh, gray booty shorts. 
<laughs> it's a very like random story like this football player crashes a plane and stumbles into a mad scientist who has a rocket ship to this planet water is leaking from her eyes oh. it's what they call tears it's a sign of their weakness they're a very heartfelt civilization i can tell yeah very nostalgic you know emotions mean a lot <laughs> They drug him and gas him, and everybody just watches this like public execution. Oh my gosh. How you gonna get out of this one, Flash? Earthling executed by Ming. Oh my goodness. You realize what happens to me if I'm found out? This Princess Aurora wants Flash Gordon, so she's bringing him back to life. Yeah, her dad wouldn't said she couldn't. She had to marry this prince guy. But she's like, you know, now that I've seen Flash Gordon, actually, I'm having a change of heart. Now, quickly, put his uniform on before the lizard men arrive to bury you. The lizard men. Okay, that's their official name. Don't worry, I won't look. Ah, there's a mirror. She can see exactly. Like you. Telling that to the emperor's daughter. Yeah, the emperor is just planning on destroying Earth slowly till he gets bored of it, and then we'll kill everything. I destroyed utterly. You're saying oh. it's my fault. Yeah, because he found That's out about it. Oh, uh, okay. So he's not going to recognize Flash Gordon or any of this. Oh, and they have it playing in the background. Oh, how far back are they going? Jeez. What? She dies? Hyperspeed images overlapped. It feels like an episode of Black Mirror, how they like played back his whole life. There's one episode where people had like microchips in their brain that could replay the day's events. You'd be able to manage with that. Yeah. I have to return some videotapes. What's that? That's the planet Aquaria. Like like jellyfish, like petrified jellyfish almost. It's my secret pleasure moon. Oh my, a secret pleasure moon? Oh wow. Is that so? You'll have to persuade me much better than that. Oh my. So he's a thought amplifier so she can telepathically tell people back on the other oh, planet what to do? Know. Also, how would she be able to respond? She's not getting me. Don't use your mouth. Use your brain. Oh my. Okay, so they reprogrammed so now he's part of their army and uh, is loyal to Ming. Okay. I've liked some of the sci-fi tech. It's been really cool, but... Yeah, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen now. Oh, bonked him. Yeah, I don't imagine it'd be very easy to see in those outfits. She's carrying her around her suit, so she's quieter. Lasers! Way out. Are you sure? No questions, dear. Just follow me. Okay, so they're gonna go catch up with Flash, and these guys, like, Ming is just gonna be following them, obviously. so weird he's like stop at nothing let me just rub my lips with this cloth before I licked my evil plan I am now of age green father <laughs> I ask for the test of manhood choose your passage into this world or the next well it seems uh deadly green father okay so these people obviously worship nature I'm guessing this tree trunk where if he picks the wrong one he could die. Ugh. Oh god. It's like a scorpion thing. He looks like Peter Pan. <gasps> what does that mean? He's doomed? He got slimed? Spam me the madness! Hold him. Oh, so if you get stung, you go mad. Oh, God, they just murdered him. Bye. This guy's gonna help me. These are some interesting rituals they got going on. Yikes. Hope they have a large population, because, man, they're dropping like flies. I can't imagine. As I was going under, I started to recite Shakespeare. Oh, okay, it didn't work. Okay, good. Human spirit. Oh, okay, so he's just like... He focused on memorizing Shakespeare and that prevented his memory from being erased? Sure. Yeah, he's like, all the tribes or groups of people on this planet hate Emperor Ming, so if they all band together and overthrow him, but no. Oh, they're winning him in the swamp. 
Oh my. Ah, we don't like doing this at all. Never! Bring me the boar worms. Bring back no! my girls. Not the boar worms! Bog worms? No. Some family uh, dynamics going on there. Her dad's okay with them torturing her. Yikes. He's a psycho. We hang you in the morning. So they're gonna hang him in the morning, but first they wanna just like leave him here in the swamp for a while. Get me Okay, so he's gonna marry his daughter off to Clytus because to punish her. Oh my gosh. Wow, what is this? They're not even moving their arms. Did I do my love? Oh, right in the snacks. Okay, so they're able to escape out of this cage and it sounds like they're gonna go rob this temple or something. So he has to do the same test as that uh, other young man. Yeah, could you just not pretend that you reached all the way down there? They're just having this weird battle where they're hoping one of them gets stung. Death is certain, but only after tortured madness. How long? Hours? Days? Depending on I don't think he actually got stung. I think he's faking it. End it now. Trick you, Barry! Yeah, oh, uh, tricked him. One move and you're looking for a new prince. Da -da -da. Yeah, the more you move, the more you're gonna sink. Oh, God, no! Oh, Flash, now what are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm so curious, like, he doesn't seem like he has any superpowers. Ah! Oh, that's a nightmare. That's my nightmare. What is happening? Oh, God. It's like a giant spider or something that's taking him down. Oh, he's like, I'll just laser him because it looks so fake, but oh, God. This is one grave you won't be returning from. Oh! These Spartan angels saved him, okay. Okay, so they have 14 hours till the moon crashes into Earth. Ugh. And I like the like spinning like clouds and stuff happening on the floor. That's really cool. He seems way too excited about this. Bong. Just whips? I don't need these stinking gloves. I'm Peter Pan. Whoa! Do they fall to earth or something if they get chucked off the side? Is the movie, does the movie stick true to the comic book? I don't know much about it. Comment below and let me know. Oh gosh. I wasn't expecting whips to be the weapon of choice. Oh, the floor's got spikes in it. Oh God. This guy has a remote that just makes it even more difficult. Oh. Yikes, what a weird way to decide this duel. A spinning platform with spikes and whips. Oh, bonked him. He just keeps trying to football tackle everybody. Oh, God, no! Take my hand! Yeah, of course, Flash would try and save him. What is this? Humanity. Yes. Oh, Flash. My hero. I follow. Aw. Okay, so they're gonna try and team up and save Earth. It's a very dramatic death. Oh, uh, oh, God, what is that? That's so bad. That's so fake. He fell on the spikes. And then these, like, very plastic eyeballs and stuff came out. Oh, my gosh. He wasn't even near the spikes, and then suddenly was on top of like seven of them. Yikes. Stand with us and fight against the Imperial Fleet! Against the Imperial Fleet? Why does he have to say it like that? Get my people! Evacuate! Fly! 
then take us with you. I think Kaleidos' death has been my favorite scene of the movie so far. It was so bad. It was so goofy. The hunter becomes the hunter. I must yell my lines through my teeth. What? Oh, plot twist. Yeah, he's hoping he can convince him to stay if he gives him a kingdom. Okay. What is this? Like a little like ATV thing? Whoa! It's clearly just a model, like a, a miniature. Gosh. Yes. I loved you. Yes. Now he's space dust. Oh, damn! Stop! I'm going to be a ha 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 ha! Pillow fight! Ha 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 ha! Your joy's time has come. Follow us. You are to be prepared for your wedding. Oh God. Okay, so she's gonna marry Ming. Oh. You can save me now. Except Flash! <laughs> They're in this like battle in the sky with like the um, Ming versus Flash, okay. I like how they're just like floating midair, like not really flapping their wings, just hanging out. Yes, a laser fight to Queen, yes, I'm so excited. Oh, that one's on fire, oh god, shot his wing down. Oh, what? Dang, she just stabbed him in the back and she held, she had like some needles or something in her dress. Long live Flash. All creatures will make merry. They got a sky rider for their wedding. Oh my, where they went all out. He's got this big smile on his face. Oh god, while well, Flash is like heading for his impending doom. Grab an Avenger off one of those agents. Whoa, oh god, that's what's there underneath. Oh, they don't have any eyeballs. They're just like computers. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's after. Bye! Uh, she just like deflated. Good. Take this earthling tail up to be your empress of the hour. Of the hour, yes. You promise With nothing you more. Oh my. Certainly. Not to blast her into space. These are important vows. Until such time as you grow weary of her. I do. I oh, do not. Come on, Flash, you gotta save her! Oh, the piece of the plane. Oh, it speared him right through the gut. Ugh, ugh. Bye, Ming. Oh my gosh. That's the second time he's crashed a plane. 17 seconds. Oh god. The game's lost, Ming! That's a giant sword. Whoa, his laser. Wee, 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 wee. Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. He just disappeared. Oh, into his ring. So he lives in his ring now. Oh. Have a nice day. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He's like, you know what? Actually, now that Ming's gone, uh, I'm all for Team Flash. So have a good day. From this day on, let every breed of Mongo live together in peace. Yeah, he's not going to pin them against each other like Ming was. It's a little too quiet around here for me. So they just saved this planet and now they're going to head back to New York. And they wrote thanks in the sky. Oh my goodness, so cheesy. Yeah, I'd maybe destroy that ring. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh. The end. Okay. Oh, question mark. Whoa, plot twist there. I really went for it. So that was my first time watching the 1980 film Flash Gordon, and I really liked it. It was super cheesy, super goofy, um, lots of elaborate costumes and elaborate sets, uh, which I really liked. It was definitely like... 80s cheesy movie. Uh, I didn't realize the music was done by Queen, so that was a fun surprise. And I also recognized a few of the cast members, um, names anyway, Max Von Snowden, the guy who's playing Flash Gordon, I don't think
don't think I've heard of before. Uh, I'm not sure if he's only known, like, this is his big role and this is what he's mostly known for. Uh, the guy who played Prince Baron, I recognized his face, but I can't remember his name. I don't know anything about the comic book or the character or the cartoon or whatever this is based off of. Uh, I'm assuming a comic book. In the intro, they kind of showed some comic book pages, so I don't know how true to the movie the comic is or if they take an entirely different leap with the movie and go somewhere else. Same with the TV show. I don't know how close it is to the comics um, or even if all the characters are in the comics in the movies comment below and let me know but basically the plot was Flash Gordon was trying to prevent this evil Emperor Ming from destroying Earth um, and it was just it was interesting because I was kind of expecting him to have superpowers as he was in a comic book I know not all superheroes have superpowers but that's where I was kind of thinking this was gonna go um, but he seemed to just be a regular all-american guy football player whose plane crashes into this mad scientist greenhouse and they end up on a rocket into space I think they were trying to get to the moon um, and then the moon was also exploding and falling pieces were falling to earth um, but on the process of trying to get to the moon they ended up meeting Emperor Ming unfortunately and his evil doings they have the ceremony where everybody's bringing him, like what they're offering him because he's their leader. He doesn't like the gift that he's receiving from one of these tribes so decides to kill him so obviously a very bad character and just he was okay with torturing his own daughter um, and then when he sees Flash who's there with Dale um, who's a travel agent. I don't know many travel agents that fly with the people they booked the travel for but here we are um, and he sees Dale and thinks oh I must have her she's amazing so he decides to make her his concubine and then kills off Flash or tries to kill off Flash and tries to erase the memory of this scientist that's with them. I don't know what it, this film was rated. Uh, there wasn't anything crazy over the top but uh, yeah I'm very curious to see what it was rated and I don't know who the target audience was either. Like was this meant for kids? Was this more meant for adults? I think my favorite scene throughout the film was when the part when uh, Kalitis dies on this like disc thing that uh, Prince Baron and Flash Gordon had been fighting on previously that was remote control that had spikes on it and would tilt so it would make it harder to fight um, and then he gave them whips as their only weapon again just some very interesting choices um, not swords or laser guns or anything like that but whips um, and then when this Kalitis character I hope I say that correctly um, dies it's so clearly fake and it's just so funny because there's a shot of him and he's perfectly safe landed between all the spikes and then they cut to a shot of him where he suddenly has like seven spikes in his body and his eyes just like melt and explode and it's just so badly done and so clearly fake and you can tell where the cut is and just yeah it's so funny though just so 80s and super cheesy. I was curious to see if Flash Gordon would have any superpowers um, since he's a comic book character I know not all superpower not all superheroes have superpowers but he just seemed to be like a regular guy um, and I'm wondering how long they were gone on earth basically like when they were supposed to land in this place called Dark Harbor who was waiting for them. Have they been gone from Earth for like an hour, for three weeks? Uh, I don't know if there's like a big search party happening on Earth for Flash Gordon as he seemed to be a little bit of a celebrity. His face was on newspapers and I liked how they incorporated his, he says a couple football terms when he's fighting and he incorporates his like defensive tackle and everything um, while he's trying to fight off these evil villains. I thought there was some cool sci-fi tech. Um, that one thought amplifier machine where you can basically telepathically send your thoughts to another person. I thought that was pretty cool um, and the giant gun laser thing that tried to erase the scientist's memory but he was thinking about Shakespeare so somehow that blocked it and prevented his brain from being having all of his memories erased um, and then they tried to reprogram him so that he would now be part of their army and working for them um, so I thought those it's interesting to see what tech they make up and what they think the future will look like. Overall I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more research and learning about Flash Gordon's character and the different, I don't know how in depth the comic books go, um, into the other tribes of people on this galaxy and what that looks like. Like there was that one tribe that they were reptiles or dinosaurs or something like that and then another tribe that looked like Spartan men basically um, and then with wings and there's this group of people who seem to worship trees and nature uh, and part of their culture is for a young man for initiation they have to stick their arm into this weird 
tree trunk or something like that uh, and if they reach their arm in and this poisonous spider stings them well then they're killed instantly and if they're lucky enough to not get stung well then they get to live to be an adult I guess um, so I'm curious to see if they explore more of each of their cultures having those kind of similar rituals. The film ends just being so cheesy and just seemed so forced with Flash coming towards the camera and like yeah and this cheer and then uh, the ambiguous ending of the text, the end coming up with a question mark. It's like, will there be a sequel? We don't know. Um, I don't know if this film was financially successful when it came out. I know it's kind of a more popular film now, but I don't know if it became a cult classic over time or if it was a huge success right when it came out. I don't know if this was before or after the TV show, but uh, overall I really enjoyed it. Super goofy um, and I liked how Flash was even using some of his football moves to defeat the bad guys. He had a few football terms um, that he used as well and using like, his defensive tackle to try and take these bad guys down. They toss him an egg at one point and he's using it like a football so super cheesy, super goofy. Uh, if you like 80s sci-fi movies I would definitely check it out. Thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Ugh. He says with such disgust. It kind of sounds like Queen. Sports. Very official. Yeah, the red pedal for blast off. Okay. What? It was like a go go gadget arm, but with a laser? Oh, well. Just like a regular guy who fights evil. My. A secret pleasure moon? I can see the Pelium fleet. He's like very plastic eyeball.